Hello students, I am Dr. Harjeet and you are watching Advanced Botany Channel. Today we will discuss mechanisms of heat stress tolerance in plants. Heat stress. Heat stress is defined as where temperature are hot enough for sufficient time that they cause irreversible damage to plant function or development. High temperature stress is a major environmental stress that limits plant growth and development, metabolism, and productivity. Plants exposed to high temperature suffer from severe and sometimes lethal adverse effects. Plant responses to high temperature vary with the degree and duration of high temperature and the plant type. To cope with such conditions, plants have evolved sophisticated mechanisms to respond to heat stress. Effects of heat stress on plants. Heat stress damage photosynthetic apparatus, decreasing transpiration due to stomata closer and carbon dioxide content, inhibiting photosynthetic enzymes and ATP synthesis rates, reducing leaf expansion and accelerating senescence, increases cellular membrane permeability and the loss of cellular electrolytes. Heat stress also reduces ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase, that is rubisco activity, amounts of photosynthetic pigments, and the carbon fixation capacity. Rubisco enzyme usually works efficiently between temperature of 20 and 30 degrees Celsius, right? In addition, the reactive oxygen species, ROS, accumulation caused by heat stress leads to membrane damage and decreasing Thermotolerance. RS induces oxidative stress by altering membrane properties, degrading proteins, and uh, inactivating enzymes, thus reducing plant cell viability. The ROS are generated mainly in photosystem 1, PS1, and photosystem 2, that is PS2. In PS2, excess energy generates the triplet state of chlorophylls which pass excitation energy to oxygen and producing singlet oxygen, right? Overproduction of PS2, uh, sorry, PS1 leads to generation of the superoxide N9, promoting hydrogen peroxide production, H2O2 production. Heat stress induces lipid peroxidation due to free radical damage of the cell membrane. ROS can also trigger programmed cell death under heat stress. In addition, the level of soluble sugars and proteins are altered due to heat stress to regulate osmotic pressure within the cell. How plants respond to heat stress? Plants can perceive changes in temperature through sensors. In different cellular compartments, chloroplasts are considered sensors of heat stress because they change the dynamics in response to ROS or redox changes at the cellular level. One of the best known means of responding to potential damage caused by high temperature is through the synthesis of heat shock proteins, HSPs. Heat stress in crop plants has also been associated with an increase in antioxidative capacity with the synthesis of various enzymatic and uh, non-enzymatic RS sequencing and detoxification system. Short-term responses in plants to high temperature include leaf orientation, transpirational cooling, and changes in membrane lipid composition. Next is mechanisms of heat stress tolerance in plants. Under high temperature conditions, plants exhibit various mechanisms for surviving, which include long-term morphological adaptations, short-term avoidance or acclimation mechanisms, and high temperature tolerance mechanisms. First of all, we'll discuss avoidance mechanisms. Common heat-induced feature in plants are closure of stomata and reduced water loss, increased stomatal and uh, trichomatous densities, and larger xylem vessels. Major short-term avoidance mechanisms, as I already told you, are changing leaf orientation, transpirational cooling, 
or alteration of membrane lipid composition. In some plants, leaf blades turn away from light and orient themselves parallel to sun rays. This process is called paraheliotropism. Solar radiation may also be reduced by rolling leaf blades. Plants also form a thick waxy coat on the surface of the leaves as well as cuticles in order to protect themselves from the high temperature. Plants with small leaves are also uh, more likely to avoid heat stress due to smaller resistance to the air boundary layer in comparison with larger leaves. Next is tolerance mechanisms. Heat tolerance is generally defined as the ability of the plant to grow and produce economic yield under high temperature. Some major tolerance mechanisms including ion transporters, late embryogenesis, abundant proteins, osmoprotectants, antioxidant defense and uh, factors involved in signaling cascades and transcriptional control are essentially significant to contract the stress effects. First of all, we'll talk about antioxidant defense in response to heat-induced oxidative stress. Tolerance to high temperature stress in crop plants has been associated with an increase in antioxidant, uh, antioxidative capacity with the synthesis of uh, enzymatic and non-enzymatic ROS sequencing and detoxification system. Activities of different antioxidant enzymes are temperature sensitive and uh, activation occur at different temperature ranges but the activities of these enzymes increase with increasing temperature. It has been observed that catalase, ascorbate, uh, ascorbate peroxidase and superoxide dismutase showed an initial increase in activities before declining at 50 degree Celsius. It means that first activities of these enzymes increase, but once the temperature reaches 50 degrees Celsius, activities start declining. Peroxidase and glutathione reductase activities declined at all temperatures, ranging from 20 to 50 degrees Celsius. In general, total antioxidant activity is at a maximum at 35 to 40 degrees Celsius in the tolerant varieties and at 30 degrees Celsius in the susceptible varieties. Next is mechanisms of signal transduction and development of heat tolerance. Upregulation of many genes has been reported to help the plant to withstand the stress uh, conditions which leads to plant adaptation. Upon stress, Plants perceive the external or internal signals through different independent or uh, interlinked pathways, which are used to regulate various responses for its uh, tolerance uh, development. The means to generate response in specific cellular compartments or tissues against a certain stimuli. Interaction of cofactors and signaling molecules are required. Signaling molecules are involved in activation of stress responsive genes. There are various signal transduction molecules related to stress responsive gene activation. Some broad group of those are uh, calcium dependent protein kinases, mitogen activated protein kinase, uh, nitric oxide, sugar, and phytohormones. These molecules together with transcription factors activate stress responsive genes. Once the stress responsive genes activate, these help to detoxify the ROS by activating detoxifying enzymes and free radical sequencers and reactivate the essential enzymes and structural proteins and all uh, help to maintain the cellular homeostasis. Next is molecular and biotechnological strategies for development of heat stress tolerance in plants. Heat stress is responsible for upregulation of several heat-inducible genes, commonly referred as 
heat shock genes right heat shock genes encode heat shock proteins hsps and uh, these uh, active products means heat shock proteins are very much necessary for plant survival under fatal high temperature these proteins protect intracellular proteins uh, from being denaturation and preserve their stability and function through protein folding that acts as uh, chaperones right the heat shock proteins are extremely heterogeneous in nature uh, and this dynamic uh, protein family is expanding continuously as per the uh, recent researchers uh, are going on right in plants well characterized heat shock proteins can be grouped into five different families hsp 100 hsp 90 hsp 70 hsp 60 and hsp 20 hsp 20 also known as small heat shock proteins hsp 70 and hsp 60 uh, proteins are among the most highly conserved proteins in nature consistent with the fundamental role in response to heat stress thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe for more thank you